Gospel of July the 3rd, 2015, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, I put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Of course, we are celebrating the feast of Thomas Apostle, Saint Thomas Apostle. The first time, let us remember that the first day of the week, after the crucifixion of the Lord, when he was still in the tomb, he was resurrected from the dead. He was raised from the dead. And the first day of the week, the apostles were united, were together praying, perhaps. They were afraid of the Jews. They were thinking that the Jews would try to grab them and kill them the same way that they did their master. Somehow, Thomas was not with them. It was an act of the providence of God, so that we could learn. The ten apostles that met Jesus gave testimony to Thomas. We have seen the Lord, rise the Lord. Yet Thomas would not answer. He would deny it unless I see the nail marks, unless I put my finger in there, I will not believe. Unless I stick my hand inside his side, I will not believe. Perhaps his friends were arguing that the rise and Lord looked different, and perhaps he thought that they were mistaken. At any rate, he wanted proof, absolute proof, that his Lord was rising. His testimony also is good for us, proof that the Lord risen on the third day, just as the scripture and he himself said. Now, I would like to ask you something to ponder. I suppose that you that are hearing this homily, this reflection, this meditation, usually go to have Holy Communion at church. I hope so. But if you are like me, when we receive Holy Communion in the Eucharist, I cannot see God in there. I know that it is the body of Christ. And even when I drink the blood of the chalice, still the blood tastes like wine. It is not through my human senses that I can meet the Lord, but only through faith. Now faith, first of all and above all, is a gift from God, like a seed, also like the Word of God, a seed. It is the presence of the Holy Spirit in us, but once we have it, then it is our responsibility not to contrite it, not to extinguish it. We have to let it grow. And I propose to you several venues so that you can increase your faith without having to see, to actually see. The first one is by praying, constantly praying, morning and evening. 
The second one is by listening to the word of the Lord, just as you have been doing today with this meditation and reading of the gospel. The third one would be to make a daily conscious examination. Three lights and one cross. Three lights to see and to count the blessings of the Lord every day. Three minutes counting blessings, your actual and real blessings of the day. One minute, three minutes to count the blessings, one minute to see where you fail to the Lord, and perhaps another minute to reconcile. And then also something that is very, very important, that you share with your brothers wherever you live, a little bit of your food, a little bit of your water, a little bit of the clothes that you might have left that you don't have to use every day, the ones that might be old. Share with the poor ones. All those, when practice continually and praying, asking our Father to increase our faith, does give results so that we can without a doubt, recognize the Lord without seeing, and thus become blessed. When we start looking at the world through the eyes of the faith, then we start to be cleansed by the action of the Holy Spirit. When, especially we, when we go and reconcile by confession with a priest, bishop, or a presbyter, then we are reconciled, then we are cleansed, and we start seeing the hand of God in your life and my life. Until we meet in heaven. God bless you all, brothers.